How's it going? I'm Tim with RV Land Cruisers and we're going to jump right into the site guide and campground review for Carrick Lake in Baker, Florida. Remember if you find this video useful to hit the like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that you'll know when we have new campground reviews and site guides in the future. There are two campgrounds on this lake. One is the north campground and one is the south campground. We're starting on the south side, which is the side we stayed on, and that's what you're looking at here. Both campgrounds come with 15 sites each. Each site comes with 30 and 50 amp power, but no sewer. And both sides have a dump station. Of course, they both have a bathroom and shower house. The North Campground actually has a pretty nice fishing pier. Of course, they're both equipped with a boat ramp. The site will run you under $30 a night. That's taxes and everything. And you can reserve it on Reserve America's app or website. It has pretty good availability because of the location. It's about an hour and a half from the beaches that everybody wants to go to. These campgrounds are part of the Blackwater River State Forest, along with a few other lakes around here, and they all run about the same price, but some are primitive and some aren't. This week's video has mostly been about the site guide and what we think about the campground. We're gonna list some of the things that we liked about the campground here in a second, but if you wanna see some of that in action, check out last week's video, and I'm gonna put a link up above. Now we're giving you a look at the North Campground. To me, the sites feel a little closer together over here, but the loop itself is also smaller, so that may be part of it. This was our first time at this campground, and it was also our first time kayaking, so we really enjoyed the lake. And as a bonus, we got to take a look at a bald eagle and its nest with a couple of babies. There's also a pretty good hiking trail that goes all the way around the lake and takes you from one campground to the other. There had been a few days of rain before we got there, so there were a couple of spots that were pretty muddy. and We didn't hike it, but we did ride our bikes, and it was a lot of fun. Since starting this RV adventure in August of 2020, we've been to almost 20 campgrounds, and this is easily in our top five. The pros are that it's quiet and it's cheap. And the only con I can say is that it's not close to anything else, but some people would consider that a pro. If you've been to this campground, let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Is that your net? Hello, hello. You see this bird? bird. Right here on the bird. She's dipping in that pole like there's food in there or something. Oh, she can reach into it. Yeah, she knows. Watch it with her.